car break-ins seem to be a problem all across the city, and it seems like no one is immune. No one, even those attending a funeral. WRG's Jordan James spoke to recent victims, and Jordan um, says that, um, well, Jordan is not live for us. There he is. Hi, Jordan. Hi, Stephanie. I can tell you that they are fed up, and they say if they can help it, they don't plan on returning to Memphis anytime soon. Tonight, emotions are running high for a family following a recent visit to the Bluff City. I will never be back to Memphis. These feelings coming after the family's vehicle was broken into while attending a funeral service last month at Family Funeral Care. For somebody to go to a place of mourning and break into a vehicle and cause more, uh, cause more stress, I mean, that, that is just... Ridiculous. Memphis police say someone broke into the family's Ford Explorer and stowed a Michael Kors purse, which contained a wallet with several credit and debit cards. Minutes after the theft, the suspects allegedly used the cards to buy more than $8,000 worth of items at the Sam's Club. Surveillance footage shows what appears to be two females exiting a maroon sedan and entering the store. The family tells WREG they are now out of thousands of dollars because of this crime. I tell you they's in the right place if I would have caught because mm -hmm. they would have needed to be there. So far this year, there have been nearly 7,000 auto thefts compared to this same time last year when Memphis had over 2,700. I used to enjoy coming up there to Memphis. Of course, there was my cousin that passed away. Um, I used to go up there and visit him, but now that he, he's gone, uh, I'll never come back to Memphis. And I can tell you, we stopped by the funeral home to learn more about their security measures and they declined to comment at this time. For now, reporting here live downtown, Jordan James, WREG, News Channel 3. All right, seems like no one's immune. Jordan, thanks.